Hey guys, welcome back to Deepak's Daily Reading and today we're going to be talking again about how to have impossible conversations, a very practical guide. So really good battle tactics about how to become more productive in the face of issues, conflict with people that you're close to or even in, in, in any conversation really. So when there is something a person you're talking to is passionate about, use words your conversational partner uses to show empathy and also to get back more insights. So you can, and, 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 and then when there's an area where you think there might be conflict, you also repeat back what you understand. So let me just see if I understand what I think you mean, or let me just repeat back to you my understanding of what you said, or let me just play that back to make sure I've got it right. So, so these are important things that you should bake into every, 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 every type of conversation you have where something needs to be understood before you reply. Also, when someone's passionate and someone's telling a story it's it's simple let them speak and don't interrupt i actually in fact interrupted axel multiple times just now so clearly i didn't manage my emotions well enough in that instance and that's something that i need to work upon also you want to listen for identity and this is again centered most centered around difficult conversations so listen for identity level beliefs and the unread li library effect so identity level beliefs are the identity that I might have as a British Indian, a economic migrant, someone who's from a working class background, someone who considers themselves well read, and that might have an impact upon a belief system I have related to stereotypes that exist in each of those niches and being able to separate myself from factors that relate to my superficial or even inbuilt identity and being able to separate yourself from it and also the unread library effect which I think is in relation to assuming knowledge in places where you don't actually have that knowledge. And then when you investigate it, you realize people make assumptions about things that they don't know. And then also when someone is upset or frustrated, allowing someone to vent, it's a practical way to deepen a friendship. Oh, wow, how did, Christ, how did that make you feel? How did you feel about that? Okay, so, 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 so what did, I mean, what did you feel? So things like that help. These are conversation deepeners as well as conversation extenders. So, and then what happened? Okay, so repeating back specific things that they've said as we discussed. And then avoid naming someone else's feelings, but let them identify them, the, identify the feelings themselves because it helps you understand their identity level beliefs. Even if they misread how their feelings are, it helps you understand their own opinion of themselves as well as obviously you can project what you think is going on versus what is actually going on. So this was the things that I learned about when, when, it, when, it, when it comes to having difficult conversations. Thank you.